Smartphones, computers, and even tablets. These are only three examples of pieces of technology that are consumed by Americans on a daily basis. Whether it would be social media, movies and TV shows, or even just reading, the portable media industry seems to take the hat. College students around the world are still hesitant, however, about if traditional textbooks are the way to go in college or electronic textbooks. I believe that through careful research and studying that I have perhaps found an answer and a reason why. With nearly a quarter of our population having acquired a degree of some sort, I believe that it is, that it is crucial that the method of learning stays as efficient as possible. As a full-time college student, I have used a combination of traditional textbooks and electronic textbooks, and I believe that with electronic textbooks, they are becoming the norm. I believe that even though many students prefer traditional textbooks, electronic textbooks should be the norm for many reasons that I have researched. The reasoning that I have found behind this include the innovation of electronic textbooks with its many uses, including conveniences and many other uses of application, as well as how much both affect the bank and the environment. Also, with having simple access to many different assortments of tablets, cell phones, laptops, or smartphones, you are able to have electronic textbooks at, right at your fingertips. With America making the switch to electronic textbooks, there will be more efficient learning environment as well as less paper wasted being hauled around from place to place. Before we get started, before any problem can be solved, it's crucial to understand the problem in the first place. Electronic textbooks are beneficial for many reasons and prove useful to countless Americans. Electronic textbooks are convenient as well as innovative. They weigh significantly less than traditional textbooks, and you can, of course, as mentioned before, you can have access to many different textbooks from one single device. Also, they are easier on the bank account. Now let's use this textbook for example. Would you prefer carrying this one textbook around, or would you prefer carrying this little tablet around, which maybe weighs about two pounds? Now, you must also put into consideration that this, if you're a full-time student, will not be the only textbook that you will have. You will have many, three or four textbooks, perhaps this size, and it's more efficient and more convenient just to have them all stored away on this simple electronic device. Now, there are other reasons that electronic textbooks are useful as well. According to a journal article written by Darlene Waller, students across the country find it convenient that they are able to use study tools such as games or pretests provided by the ebook developers to aid in their studies. A common myth with electronic textbooks is that you're not able to highlight or do other things with electronic textbooks as you are able to do with traditional textbooks. However, this myth is false, considering the fact that with an electronic textbook, you are not only able to highlight, but you are able to search through all the different things that you may have highlighted in order to find them instantly instead of putting sticky notes in a textbook in order to keep track of where you highlighted. <clears throat> now, just as they are helpful to students, electronic textbooks are also helpful for the world. In accordance to the article previously stated, 12 to 24 trees are used to manufacture one single ton of paper. In the business world, for every 10 employees per year, 18 trees will be cut down and used. Now that the problem has been clearly stated, how can America take the first step? Having an electronic device will be the first step into getting into the electronic world of textbooks. There are many different types of devices that, are, that support these electronic textbooks. For example, you have your basic Kindle, you can buy a Nook, you can use a laptop, computer, or desktop, or even many students today are using their cell phone to access their electronic textbooks, which they may find most convenient. Even though there are many formulas, even many formats, is it still worth it for students to proceed? Well, one of the main points is that, for college students especially, is that electronic textbooks are overall, in general, cheaper than traditional textbooks. Right here in my hand, I have two examples, both of them from Amazon.com that I have found just from searching textbooks online to do price differences. Right here, I have the Oxford Textbook of Clinical Research Ethics. The Kindle edition, it says right here, Amazon price $54.59 hardcover copy, 
$152, paperback copy, $72.48. An anatomy textbook for any nursing students, Kindle edition, $31, paperback edition, $37. Not nearly as big of a price difference, but still, the electronic device takes the hat on that one. If America were able to make the switch to electronic textbook, what would be different? Well, paper waste, heavy load carrying, and inconvenience would deteriorate down to a minimum. Heavy backpacks cause damage to the spine if abused constantly, and with electronic textbooks and having all the textbooks on one device, this can be prevented. According to a 2014 article by Valerie Levine, research indicates that books should not exceed 10% of the student's body weight, and they should never carry backpacks on one shoulder because of the fact that all the weight is being carried on one side of the body, therefore affecting the spine. Although there are physical reasons to make the switch, there will also be less waste. Outdated textbooks most of the time are simply disposed. Rarely are they recycled according to statistics. Um, decomposed paper in landfills emits large amounts of methane gas, which is 23 times more potent in terms of global warming than CO2 gas. <clears throat> the problem, solution, and end result has now been stated, and I believe that you have the necessary knowledge that it takes to make the to make this change a possibility in the near future. The problem is that traditional textbooks are still the norm in America. However, with the proper setup and the proper amount of knowledge, everyone will be able to make the switch smoothly, efficiently, and get rid of traditional textbooks once and for all. I believe that students should make the switch to electronic textbooks from traditional textbooks. With technology trending as it is, there has never been a better time than now to stand up and make a positive difference for not only yourself, but also for the country and the environment.